Now, here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Well, for now, the rain is light, but anticipated to get heavier during the overnight hours and towards the pre-dawn. Take a look outside under well, cloudy skies, uh, temperatures that are in the, the 60s. Actually, pretty good visibility in Providence, just with the simple fact that the precipitation for now is pretty light, but do anticipate uh, some reduced visibility, some downpours, some rumbles of thunder in some areas during the overnight. Uh, localized street flooding. I don't think I see anything really major or excessive as far as street flooding overnight, but the potential is there in some of the heavier downpours that we see. Temperatures are cool compared to some of the nights that we've seen where they were well into the 70s and even 80s. Mid 60s right now, including 65 in Providence, looking at New Bedford at 67 and mid to upper 60s along the uh, South Shore. So the rain anticipated uh, for the overnight hours, heavy at times and some rumbles of thunder. As far as remnants from Debbie, keep in mind that obviously so we're not getting a hurricane Debbie or even a tropical storm Debbie. It continues to weaken. It's more of a rain system and whatever remnants that we get as far as precipitation appears to be in the Friday Saturday morning time frame with some scattered heavy showers specifically, especially Friday night, early Saturday morning. Actually feeling even better about the weekend. We're seeing signs now that things will actually clear out Saturday afternoon and Sunday still looks good. Now the next couple of days cool. We're looking at temperatures in the 70s. So you see the precipitation starting to cross the Connecticut Rhode Island border. Initially it's light, but you do see areas of orange and yellow and gold indicating some downpours and some thunderstorms off to our west, even including northeastern Connecticut. This will arrive during the overnight. It's all associated with this red and blue line to our south. Let me widen out the view. It's called a stationary front, and all it's doing is separating cool air on one side, very warm and humid air on the other, and it's right along the front itself where we're getting some of these uh, downpours and a few thunderstorms that will come through during the overnight. Now it's better or drier tomorrow afternoon. There is drier air across the Great Lakes and it'll actually punch in the second half of the day. So while the morning commute is wet, the evening commute is much better. In fact, it wouldn't surprise me to see some breaks of sun before it sets just before the uh, the eight o'clock hour tomorrow evening. This is weakening uh, tropical storm Debbie. It's more of a rain uh, issue than wind. Uh, a last check from the National Hurricane Center. The winds are at 40 miles per hour. It is just barely moving, just sitting near the uh, South Carolina coastline, spinning back tremendous amounts of rain. Uh, the forecast track of the center itself is very slow, but it does move to the north. Notice how the symbol changes from a tropical storm to what's called a tropical depression. The winds continue to decrease. This is a Friday morning, but by later Friday night into Saturday morning, it'll pass well to our west in upstate New York. And that's better news for us. A track further to the west quite simply means that the heavier rain will probably stay confined to upstate New York. With that said, we'll still get some showers and some downpours later Friday into Saturday, but you can clearly see the strip of yellow indicating where some of the heavier rain from Debbie will end up upstate New York and into northern New England, while we do see some showers and a few downpours at times. Meanwhile, looking at the rain overnight, it does spill over into uh, tomorrow morning. You expect a wet morning commute. This is 8 a.m., but then notice how a lot of that green disappears. We're left with clouds and drier conditions, cool during the afternoon and some breaks of sun as we get towards uh, late afternoon and into the early evening hours. A lot for some extra travel time tomorrow morning and some of that rain temperatures starting off in the 60s, drying out in the afternoon, some peaks of sun by uh, late day and into the early evening hours. All right, seven day forecast, a few showers Thursday afternoon, scattered showers, heavy at times Friday into Saturday morning, remnants from Debbie. We're seeing signs of clearing Saturday afternoon and Sunday still looks OK. So at this point, if we do the math, three quarters of the weekend is looking OK. It's just the exception of Saturday morning. Some leftover rain. It's getting better, though. Yeah. All right, Tony, thanks. Coming up next in sports.